Edmond Rothschild is one of the major owners of Chateau Lafitte. In New Zealand in 2012, he got the opportunity to buy in the Marlboro area, which is the north uh, of the South Island. Uh, he purchased 24 hectares and created the project of Rimapere. So Rimapere in Maori means five arrows, like the Rothschild five uh, sun that were established uh, in different capital to develop the business. And we own so 24 hectares, which is 20 hectares in Sauvignon Blanc and four hectares in Pinot Noir. So um, we are in the Wairo River, so one of the most interesting terroirs made of pebble soil, where we grow our Sauvignon Blanc. So this is the wine from uh, Rimapere with the five arrows and the color of the Wairo River, the turquoise color, a very beautiful blue color. So because of the soil and because of the sunshine that you have in this area, we've got a very um, aromatic Sauvignon Blanc uh, produced in a quite easy way uh, by Anescal, the winemaker, 100% in stainless steel aged during six months in tanks. So you will have some amazing flavor, very powerful, uh, made of grapefruit and nice aroma. So uh, you have a nice acidity and good flavors. So from the vintage 2020, we have decided to uh, make a special wine called Plot 101, which is the single plot located in front of the winery. And here we produce around 15,000 bottles made of our a little bit older vineyard, 16 years old vineyards. And it's a Sauvignon Blanc aged six months in oak barrels. So it's not new oak, but an oak that helps the wine to be more elegant more delicate that you will match with um, more probably prestigious food. It's a wine with a little bit more concentration and potential of aging. So uh, near to the um, Sauvignon Blanc, we have uh, four hectares planted in Pinot Noir. So the Pinot Noir from Marlboro is um, giving some um, nice ruby color uh, with a very touch of spiciness because of the sunshine, because of the terroir made of pebble. So uh, we enjoy it with a lot of uh, yeah, jammy, red fruit and spiciness. A generation later, Edmond Rothschild wanted to buy something uh, a little bit less uh, famous uh, in the Moulis appellation called Chateau Malmaison. So in 1973, he purchased 33 hectares located in the Moulis appellation. So it's coming from the Medoc. It's not a Grand Cru Classé. Here he wanted to express something uh, with a top quality value wines. So uh, the expression of the wine here is to have a, a nice concentration, good flavor, a nice tension, very elegant, a very good wine. Yeah, my Taiwanese friend um, introduced me some uh, nice dishes, Taiwanese dishes, and I'm going to try to see what would be the best food and wine pairing. As a starter, uh, with the Sauvignon Blanc, like we like to enjoy and as an aperitif or with some, uh, I would say, some pizza or... What I found interesting is to have a spring onion pancake uh, as it's a bit oily, but uh, it's more uh, on the fried uh, experience that I love to have with the acidity of the Sauvignon Blanc. I think it's a quite interesting food and wine pairing to have, you know, the acidity and the grapefruit flavor that will give you um, a perfect balance with the wine. Yeah, very interesting. So another uh, dish that could be interesting, you know, because we like the, the seafood with the Sauvignon Blanc. And another crispy, uh, nice dish is it's a calamari. The calamari, the crispiness with the, um, the Sauvignon Blanc Rimapere. So I just tried a small piece. Very interesting, um, very interesting pairing. Fantastic. So here we have the Plot 101. Uh, plot 101 is the Sauvignon Blanc, aged a little bit in oak. So you have something a little bit more elegant, uh, more prestigious wine. So I would recommend your oyster pancake, uh, which is a um, very delicate, but more concentration wine. But going to, to this kind of food, uh, because you have something a little bit more sophisticated and more rich in terms of, um, of flavor. 
yeah, you have something a little bit more rich body. Going with this wine, which is um, with less acidity. It's more round, so it's perfectly matching. So one of my favorite dish is the Peking duck, because the Peking duck has something uh, very subtle. Uh, you have this kind of caramelized and uh, very uh, interesting flavor uh, facing the, the Rima Pere Pinot Noir. So, you know, the Pinot Noir is uh, very elegant. Uh, you have a nice acidity to balance. It's very greedy, very fruity, and I love matching with the duck. You know what we say, this touch of uh, torrefaction. Mm, fantastic. Yeah, they help each other to have a um, very beautiful, perfect matching. So now we are in uh, Chateau Malmaison 2016, coming from uh, Moulis. So Moulis, it's an appellation with, uh, you know, in Bordeaux, we have uh, more structured wines uh, with quite nice tannins coming from this vintage as well. Elegant, but you have a, a good structure. It's more full body wines. So I would uh, recommend this um, crispy chicken where you have some pepper notes that I feel very interesting to match with uh, the Chateau Malmaison. Yeah, very um, interesting experience. Good balance with this kind of pepper that match perfectly well with the Chateau Malmaison.泰德利股份有限公司成立于1986年9月 三十多年来泰德利秉持专业与热忱的信念稳健经营除了完善的通路布局之外冰德斯中山位于台北市双联捷运站还有中山捷运站之间交通便利适合办理 8到12人小型品种会以及各式课程还有场地租赁每周3到周5晚上7点半到11点半开放一般消费者享用单杯服务或是由专业品种师协助